So I'm standing in the YMS treatment block here at the Baldwin Knowledge Plot. I'm in 19E173. So this plot was planted on May 23rd. Uh, beans are put in at 150,000. Um, nothing out of the ordinary done here for fertility. Uh, it's not, not a high fertility situation by any means. Uh, we've been extremely dry here the month of uh, late June, early July. Um, so what we've seen typically out of the Soy FX product where I'm standing in now, uh, we've seen a lot more branching lower on that plant. That lower third of the plant has got a lot more nodes and a lot more opportunity to put pods on. And in this case, we've seen a lot more pods. So every single node, we're seeing anywhere from three to five flowers that pollinated, stuck on the plant and are producing pods. Uh, anywhere on the check, it's usually two to four, sometimes only uh, one. So we're seeing that stress mitigation part of the soy effects come through as well as that branching and ability to put on pods. Um, the Invita that's in here, we've also seen a lot more smaller uh, pods staying on the plant. Uh, we don't really necessarily get that branching effect, but at each node we're seeing a lot more pods uh, holding on and being produced. So uh, we're, we're losing that effect of having that node, but we're gaining more pods on that plant, which in turn should yield, uh, uh, equate to more yield. And then the check is just a typical um, looking soybean. There is definitely signs on those plants of drought stress. Uh, we're seeing a little bit of aborted, uh, aborted pods on there as well as flowers that, or uh, leaves, excuse me, that have kind of sloughed off and fallen away because of the drought stress of plant not able to support that much vegetation.